Yes, you certainly put aside politics at certain times and you focus on the facts. And the facts here that family members have lost someone who was close to them. Elected officials react to the death of Mayor Cantrell's husband. Good evening, I'm Lee Zurich. And I'm Meg Gatto. The city of New Orleans mourns the loss of first gentleman Jason Cantrell. Sabrina Wilson has reaction. Jason Cantrell was at his wife's side the night she made history, winning an election to become New Orleans' first female mayor. And now, in Mayor LaToya Cantrell's second term, her husband of many years has passed away. I spoke to Councilman Eugene Green soon after the official announcement of Mr. Cantrell's death was made. In some respects, despite sometimes differences, we in City Hall are a sort of a family. And it's important to keep our eye focused on the fact that Ray Ann Cantrell has lost her father, that Mia Cantrell has lost her long-term partner, that her family has lost a son, for example, Judge Cantrell. We caught up with Councilman Oliver Thomas and Congressman Troy Carter at an event. Very sad time, especially for those of us who knew him and were friends with him. I would hope that the entire city, though, uh, lifts the entire Cantrell family up uh, during this loss, during this loss, it's the same time. He was uh, an incredible individual. He was a lifelong New Orleanian, a lawyer, a husband, a father, uh, a community activist, someone that uh, will be sorely missed. Uh, very sorry to hear this news. City Council President J.P. Morrell issued a statement saying, in part, New Orleans suffered a tremendous loss with the passing of Jason Cantrell. I've known Jason for almost 20 years, dating back to our time in the Orleans Indigent Defender Program. I send my condolences to Mayor Cantrell, their daughter, Ray Ann, Judge Harry Cantrell, retired, as well as the entire Cantrell family during this extremely difficult time. While Council Vice President Helena Moreno said she and her entire staff offer their deepest sympathies and condolences to Mayor Cantrell. And Moreno said the Cantrell family has lost a father, a son, and a spouse. And I encourage all New Orleanians to lift the mayor and her family up in prayer during this tragic and difficult time. In the history books, Jason Cantrell will go down as the city's first, first gentleman. But to those who knew him well, the courthouse crowd, political circles. He was a former assistant city attorney, a former public defender, a well-known attorney. Mr. Cantrell's death comes amid criticism the mayor is facing from some members of the city council. But Councilman Eugene Green says this is no time for politics. I said yes, you certainly put aside politics at certain times and you focus on the facts. And the facts here that family members have lost someone who was close to them. And again, my condolences and my sympathy to the family. If there are issues that rise above politics, I hope this is one of them. Jason Cantrell, someone known well in political and judicial cir uh, circles for a long time. Interim NOPD Superintendent Michelle Woodfork said the New Orleans Police Department is saddened to hear of the passing of Mayor Latoya Cantrell's husband, First Gentleman Jason Cantrell. On behalf of the men and women of the New Orleans Police Department, I offer my deepest and sincerest condolences to Mayor Cantrell. Jason Cantrell's death was announced by the mayor's communications director, Gregory Joseph, who called him a devoted husband and father and a dedicated public servant.